This is the MXR Rockman X100. So this is what's happening inside of a Rockman device. Your guitar comes into the compressor, which acts to add a lot of sustain. It's fixed, there's no controls on it, but you can adjust the input gain, and that has an effect on how much compression you get. Usually you're gonna adjust that based on the kind of guitar you're using. And then it goes into the different voice settings. So distortion, edge, and clean can be switched, but they all go through a filter, which in the the Rockman patent is called the complex filter. The difference between edge and distortion isn't that much other than that there's a boost of the gain coming into the distortion, which is a simple clipping distortion circuit. Clean 2, which is the bright sound, goes through the compressor and then it goes through its own EQ that gives it that bright. It's got a little more bottom end and a little more open top end. It doesn't go through all of this band limiting. So this is set up like a mix or like a sound in the studio. So following this, it goes into your chorus. If chorus is engaged, the left signal is your dry signal entirely and the right signal is delayed and modulated giving you the that stereo width it's also important to know that the effects are in parallel on here it's not a chain so it also goes into the stereo echo which has multi taps coming left and right going off to both sides now the new unit doesn't have this piece so this is on the original unit, the new one just does this. So that is what's going on inside of a Rockman unit.